Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International. We meet behind the Trade Fair Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This, this morning, I'd like to also wander into another deep one. When I say deep one, something that will provoke your thought. I personally believe that Christianity is not an event, but Christianity is a lifestyle of principled walking. Walking in principle for the rest of your life. This morning, I'd like to title my message, Empty Thrones or Thrones with Wind. Empty Thrones or Thrones with Wind. Uh, you know, thrones are very, very powerful things. I mean, when somebody is sitting on a throne, that person is a very powerful person. But you know something? You may be sitting on a throne and have nothing. In the book of Esther, chapter 5, there's a, a story over there. You remember? Esther was the Jewish girl who, through some, the meanderings of the Spirit of God and the moves of God, she came out from slavery and became queen. Now, the Bible said something. If you watch the way Esther became queen, it looks like God tipped the tables or God weighed the dice for, for Esther. He pushed the marbles for, for Esther. I mean, it was, it was a tilted chessboard. It, it, the, the winner was already known before the beginning because there are other girls from other nations but Esther was chosen. Now the Bible says so Esther was chosen and she was now queen. Now queen you sit by the king. In terms of so you, 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 the queen you have a throne and the king also has a throne. Now the Bible said Haman wanted to do away with the, with the Jews and kill them and do all sorts of things to them. He had even prepared gallows for Mordecai the Bible said when Mordecai went to Esther and told Esther, Esther, go and beg for us. Do something about it. Our life is, is under threat. We, we are under threat. And guess what? Esther said, hey, no, no, no. I can't go. You see, the loss of the, of the kingdom says you can't go and see the king. If you go there and this thing, you are dead. So Esther, for fear of her life, and you know, to enjoy the, the, the benefits of the throne. You know, she's sitting there. Yes, queen, and all those things. He said, I can't do anything for the kingdom of God. I can't do anything. That was when Mordecai then told her, you have come into the kingdom for such a time as this. That is, make your life valuable for God's kingdom. Speak for God's kingdom. And guess what? When Esther went in to see the king, immediately the king saw her and the king stretched forth his scepter. See what he said to Esther. He said, whatever you want, even to half of the kingdom, I will give it to you. Ah, wait, 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 wait a minute. Now Esther was queen. The king was king. So the kingdom, she also owns it. You, you know, powerful. But the king said, listen, whatever you want, even for half of the kingdom, I will give it to you. Now that is very intriguing. And the reason why I say that is intriguing is, uh, listen to it very carefully. So you mean Esther has a throne, but she hasn't got a kingdom. Esther is sitting somewhere, but she has nothing. So she's enjoying the ambience of the throne, the, 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 the pageantry and the pomp that comes with it, but there is nothing. And the reason why there was nothing was because she had not engaged herself in kingdom purposes. She had not made herself relevant for the kingdom of God. Sometimes I wonder. You see people who were nothing, and they were, they, 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 they love God, they worship God, then all of a sudden they are now sitting on thrones and they are now in big places, positions of prominence, they're walking in corridors of power, they have thrones, but in the kingdom they are useless. And there's nothing, they, they, they are not even contributing to the, to the kingdom. Sometimes some of them, when they were nothing, oh boy, they'll be after their pastors, pray for me, lay hands on me, lay legs on me, pour oil on me, pour zoom on me, and all those things. But now that you have come into the king, now that you have come into a throne, now that you are sitting in positions of prominence, now that you are a very powerful person, you don't want to know the kingdom. 
They don't want to know the kingdom. So their lives don't count. So they have everything. They have the cars. They have all the pimp, pump and the pageantry. They have all the ropes. They have all the distance. But guess what? Their kingdom useless. When Esther engaged her energy, when Esther engaged her acumen, when Esther engaged her heart for the kingdom of God, see what the king said. Even if you ask me now, I'll give you half the kingdom. There are people with thrones, but they don't have any kingdom. And when you die, kingdom useless. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. You know what? Make your life relevant for the kingdom of God. Speak for the kingdom of God in corridors of power. Talk for us. Be of value to the kingdom. Don't just walk there and enjoy the ambience. Mind you, times and seasons change. Make yourself available. Let God use you in your position of prominence. Let God use you in corridors of power so that you, your life will be beneficial. See, there's a man called Joseph of Arimathea. And this Joseph of Arimathea, he was a prince. Listen, it was Jesus who sent his disciples. You never hear of his name. Joseph of Arimathea's name is never mentioned. But the day that Jesus died, the Bible said he was the one who went to Pilate and begged for the body of Christ. Who is the body of Christ? Us. Who are you begging for? You. You use your position on all those things so for wealth and all the aggrandizement that it brings, the power brings and all those things. But your kingdom useless. Esther, you're sitting on a throne, but your life has no meaning doesn't count. Put kingdom values. Seek the welfare of the kingdom of God. Use your position of prominence. Use your position of power. Use it for the benefit of the kingdom of God. Please do. Then your life will be worthy. Then the position and the promotion that God gave to you will now have a meaning. You have come into the kingdom for such a time as this. Thrones with wind or thrones that are empty. It's your choice. God bless you. See you next time.